Over millions of years, animals have adapted and evolved an arsenal of deadly weapons to hunt, defend, and attack. Teeth, claws, antlers, electricity, stings, camouflage, odor, and poisons are all being used to devastating effect in the animal armory. The most common of these weapons are teeth and claws. Many animals possess them, but seldom are they wielded with such lethal mastery. Crocodiles and wolves are apex predators, using their teeth with terrifying effect winning them a place at the top of their food chains. In contrast, a simple flick of the baboon's lip to reveal its menacing teeth is enough to strike fear into their enemies, keeping them at bay. Bears and tigers are also infamous for the lethal wounds inflicted by their razor-sharp claws. The owl's talons though not as devastating in face-to-face -face combat, are unmatched when employed with stealth to take down their prey. While armored crabs fight and defend what's theirs by cutting and crushing foes in their pincers. Held aloft throughout history as a symbol of courage and strength, few animals instill both fear and wonder like the king of the animal kingdom, the African lion. One of the largest big cats, the lion, was once found throughout Africa and into Southwest Asia. Its hunting skills and way of life placed it at the top of the food chain. Although their numbers are dwindling, thanks to several deadly weapons in their arsenal, lions are still a force to be reckoned with in Sub-Saharan Africa. Of these weapons, none are more lethal or fearsome than the lion's teeth. Lions have remarkable jaws that can open to a width of around 11 inches. Despite their reputation as vicious killers, lions spend more time laying around and bonding. Few circumstances find the lion in combat other than to hunt food, protect the pride, or take possession of another pride's territory. A lion has 30 teeth, 12 canarsals, 10 premolars, four molars, and four canines with serrations on the back. Apart from the carnassals, the rest of the lion's teeth are conical in shape, designed to tear and rip flesh. Female lions do most of the hunting. Their slimmer, athletic bodies enable them the stealth and speed needed for a successful hunt. The large, muscular bulk of the male's powerful body makes them too slow and cumbersome, but perfect for protecting the pride from rogue males looking to topple the alpha, kill his cubs, and take the females for himself. Of all their teeth, the lion's canines are perhaps their most important offensive weapon. They're longer and thicker, growing to approximately 2.4 inches in length. Mm. 
To prevent breaking, the lion's canines are set deep in their skull. They are so strong, during fights with other males, often a lion will pierce through the skull of its foe. Though most male-on-male -male fights will end without death, the stronger becoming obvious without the need to kill. Whether hunting, defending or attacking, a lion kills in two stages. First, they bring the animal down by jumping on its back, gripping and clawing with their needle-sharp claws to the throat. Once at the throat, the lion instinctively initiates a chokehold and their canine teeth reveal their deadly purpose. They close the airway of the creature by clamping down on the throat, embedding their canines deep into the flesh. With the serrations on the back of the teeth, it becomes very painful and virtually impossible for the prey to pull out of the hole without losing chunks of its flesh. If that's all the lion's teeth were capable of, they would be remarkable weapons. But inside every tooth are sensitive nerves that, while biting, allow the lion to sense veins and arteries. They quite literally feel the blood flowing inside their prey. Not only does this help the lion know where to bite, it lets it know when their prey is dead. When the blood stops flowing, the kill is complete and the rest of the teeth can get to work tearing flesh and grinding bone. Sharing 91% of its DNA with humans and found throughout Ethiopia, Saudi Arabia and Yemen, the baboon's large, fang-like teeth are famous among local cultures as being the personification of evil. Baboons are the largest monkeys on Earth, weighing between 33 and 82 pounds. They're highly adaptable, surviving almost anywhere from the savannah to tropical forests. Being old world monkeys, they're distinguished by their long noses and specific formation of teeth, allowing them to eat pretty much anything, including fruits, grasses, seeds, bark, roots and leaves. They also have a taste for meat, including fish and other small animals. Yet baboons aren't natural predators, reluctant to attack anything unless threatened, trapped, having food taken or their infants threatened. Unlike most primates, they aren't territorial, instead occupying a home range overlapping that of other baboon troops. Things usually remain peaceful, but when it comes to food, sleeping sites, infanticide, and competition for females. Fights occur and their teeth are used. Their massive canines are predominantly used to fight other male baboons to gain access to females.
But despite their ferocious look, it wasn't a need to defend or hunt that evolved the baboon's oversized fangs, but the need for sex. Despite baboon troops having an alpha male, it's the females who wield the power. They remain with the troop they're born in their entire life, happily fitting into a dominance hierarchy dictated by age and experience. The matriarchs, the oldest females, wield the most power. By contrast, male baboons leave their birth troop in search of another to hopefully become its alpha, but only at the behest of the females. Baboons have very long, extraordinarily sharp teeth. They possess four large incisors on the top jaw and another four on the bottom. Two massive canines on the top and bottom, eight premolars and 12 molars. That's 32 teeth in all. The incisors at the front of the mouth snip off pieces of food. The premolars and molars grind it, while the massive canine teeth between the incisors and molars pierce, tear and intimidate. Female baboons possess hairless patches of skin around their genital area that swell and turn bright pink when ready to mate, producing smells that arouse males. Tensions mount as they watch each other, using direct eye contact to intimidate invariably escalating to open mouth threats, flipping their top lip to reveal their huge teeth. This is usually enough to keep other males in their place. get a whiff of the female's scent, physical combat ensues to decide who is the alpha. Battles can last for days. They're terrific canines, sometimes inflicting lethal wounds. To the victor, if they'll have him, goes the right to mate with a harem of females. If not killed, the loser is sent on his way to find another true and another alpha to test his skills against. Evolving between 235 to 65 million years ago, when dinosaurs roamed the Earth, little has changed with the animal kingdom's oldest and possibly most successful predator, the crocodile. The crocodile can be found at the top of its food chain in rivers, lakes, wetlands, salt and brackish waters throughout the tropics of Africa, Asia, the Americas and Australia. They are totally carnivorous, with an appetite for fish and other reptiles, birds and mammals. Males will fight other males to gain access to females when mating, but get along for the most part, except for the saltwater variety. They're extremely territorial, highly aggressive, and completely intolerant of other males at any time. Crocodiles possess many weapons in their armory. Tough skin, fantastic hearing, and a fast swim to name but a few. 
But what they all have in common is a deadly, nearly inescapable weapon. Powerful jaws full of lethal teeth. Crocodiles are ambush predators, waiting patiently over long periods of time for aquatic creatures or land animals to venture nearby. Once in range, they rush their quarry with a terrifying surprise attack. They are the top predators in their environment and have been observed killing other major predators, including sharks and big cats. The saltwater crocodile, the largest of the species, has between 65 and 67 teeth, with around 18 on each side of the top jaw and 15 on either side of the lower jaw, intermeshing perfectly when closed. The jaw itself has a bulge on either side. These are the muscles giving strength to one of the world's most powerful jaws. Once the surprise attack is initiated, the crocodile latches onto their prey with a powerful bite of 3,700 pounds of pressure per square inch, easily enough to crush the shell of a turtle or a pig's skull. Their teeth have evolved to be large and conical in shape and extremely sharp, designed for penetration and gripping flesh. Unlike the teeth of other large predators, crocodile teeth are no good for tearing flesh, but perfect for holding onto prey, with little possibility of the creature escaping. Once in their jaws, the crocodile continues to crush the creature, rolling over and over to drown it, then swallowing it whole. Despite the carnage a crocodile's teeth and jaws are capable of, they can also take delicate action by picking up and rolling their unhatched eggs in their mouth, gently squeezing them until they hatch. Once hatched, they transport their young inside their mouths, ferrying them to the water for their first swim. Powerful symbol to ancient cultures, heralding protection, strength, and cunning. The wolf is famous for its howl, striking both fear and inspiration into those hearing it. But it's the wolf's teeth that allow them to be the fierce killers they are. The gray wolf was once common across North America, Eurasia, and the Middle East. Due to their skills as elite hunters, a taste for livestock, and the reduction of habitat, 
humans have reduced their distribution to only a fraction of what it was. Within a wolf pack, there's an alpha male and female. They lead and breed. The beta wolves are second in the hierarchy, with the omegas in the lowest position. A pack can range from two to 36 wolves, but averages out to around six dogs. They are highly territorial, establishing ranges much larger than they require to survive. Wolves will viciously defend their territory from other packs. If scent marking and howling doesn't keep others at bay, they will attack directly. The wolf has 42 teeth, with 20 in the upper jaw, six incisors, two canines, eight premolars and four molars, and 22 in the lower, six incisors, two canines, eight premolars and six molars. Their canine teeth can grow to as long as two inches. Wolves mainly prey on caribou, elk, deer, moose, and bison. They're very social, but single wolves or mated pairs generally have more success in hunting than large packs. A single wolf has been observed taking down large prey like moose, bison, and musk oxen completely unaided. A wolf hunt is divided into five stages. Locating the prey through hearing and smell, then stalking the prey, concealing themselves to get as close as possible. If the wolf is detected, the prey will either approach, stand its ground, or flee. On approach or standing its ground, the wolf will attack. Large prey will be attacked from the rear and side, biting large chunks of flesh from the soft perineum, causing a huge amount of blood loss. Three bites in this area is sufficient to cause death. Wolves have strong jaws delivering a force of 1,500 pounds per square inch with extremely sharp teeth that are slightly curved. This allows a strong grip on their prey and the ability to break bones, accessing the soft marrow inside. Its incisors cut flesh. The canine grabs hold while the premolars slice and molars crush, allowing the wolf to eat virtually the entirety of its prey, leaving very little waste. As we've seen, teeth are used for far deadlier purposes than just chewing food to be swallowed. The lions can literally feel the blood pumping through their victim. A baboon's look as fearsome. The crocodile's teeth are so deadly that once latched onto a victim, it's virtually impossible for them to escape. And the wolves are so efficient 
They not only bring down much larger prey, they allow the wolf to consume the entirety of the carcass, flesh and bone. As impressive as they are, teeth are not the only weapons animals use in the wild. Whether you can call them talons or claws, most mammals, reptiles and birds possess them, used for a variety of tasks, from digging to climbing. It's a select few who have the ability to wield them as a deadly weapon to hunt for their prey, defend their young, or claim a mate. Since prehistoric times, from the UK, throughout Europe, Asia, and into the Americas, the bear has been worshipped and immortalized in myth and fable to become the official symbol of several countries around the world. There are eight different species of bear throughout North America, South America, Europe, and Asia. The eight species of bear share similar physical characteristics, including long snouts, shaggy hair, large bodies, and stocky legs. They also possess plantar-grade paws with non-retractable claws for fighting and defending. Bears are solitary animals, except in times of courting. They're generally active during the day, but have been known to go about their business at night. Brown bears feed on vegetation, small land mammals and fish. They possess a particularly voracious appetite for salmon. They're the dominant predator in the environment, completely unthreatened apart from human beings who have hunted them for sport or out of fear. The grizzly bear, a subspecies of the brown bear, easily dominates any animal in its territory. Other apex predators like wolves and cougars know this and will surrender their prey without a fight. Grizzly bears generally avoid people but their temperament can easily swing if cornered, surprised, or their cubs are threatened. A mother bear will not hesitate to defend her offspring from other animals, including other bears. They stand up to four feet when on all fours, and between five and eight feet when standing on their hind legs. Despite poor eyesight, they have a super keen sense of smell, their main tracking tool when hunting prey or foraging for food. The enormous shoulder muscles of the grizzly bear, coupled with immensely strong forearms, giant paws and razor sharp claws, growing up to six inches. Bear claws are not just used to inflict death, they are also used to turn over rocks rip bark from trees, and tear open logs in the search for insects to eat. The claw's shape will differ according to the type of bear. Climbing bears, like black bears, have very strong curved claws to grip tree bark, while digging bears, like grizzlies, are long and straight. Polar bears have curved claws that are sharp and strong to not just catch and hold prey, but provide traction on slick ice. The polar bear has four large paws, each with five toes with long claws that are around two inches long. The front claws are much longer. However, the back paws themselves are larger for stability when the bear stands on their hind legs. The entire design of both front and back paws and claws enable the bear to run fast, climb trees and swim. The polar bear and Alaskan Kodiak bear are the largest carnivores on Earth. 
measuring often in excess of nine feet and weighing more than 1,500 pounds. With no real natural enemies, the only conflict bears have is amongst themselves. Males will battle other males for territory and the right to mate by standing on their hind legs and shoving each other. When things get overheated, they swing their huge paws at each other, doing considerable damage with their claws. The victorious male then has to compete with a female bear. If she already has cubs, the male will try to kill them, ensuring the survival of his genes. But if he thought the battle with the other male was hard, he has little chance of besting an angry mother bear. If hunting, the bear prefers to ambush rather than stalk, hiding and patiently waiting until their quarry's within range, then rushing and swiping it with its claws, killing it with one mighty blow. When the salmon runs, it's one of the only instances these bears tolerate each other's company, knowing there is plenty of fish for everyone to gorge themselves on. In the regions where bears are found, they dominate all other animals. But birds have little to fear, particularly the owl, who not only share their same territory, but also use their claws as a weapon. In Western culture, the owl symbolizes wisdom, but throughout Africa and for many Native Americans, they were the harbingers of death. It's easy to understand why when you witness an owl's claws in full effect. Raptors are birds of prey that include eagles, hawks, ospreys, and owls. Owls are nocturnal predators, possessing binocular vision and binaural hearing. They are solitary birds designed for silent flight and with sharp talons for hunting and defending. There are many species of owl found on every continent except Antarctica. And they vary greatly in size. and largest winged are the Blackiston fish owl and Eurasian eagle owl, weighing 10 pounds, possessing a wingspan of 6.6 .6 feet. Owls are totally carnivorous, with a diet consisting of insects and rodents, with a few species specifically adapted to hunt fish. All are incredible hunters with varying skills depending on their environment, but most characteristics are shared amongst all species. Amazing sight and hearing to quickly locate prey. Their hunting strategy is reliant on stealth and surprise, and thanks to their unique wings and camouflage, few creatures hear or see an owl coming. The owl has four toes on each foot. While in flight or perching, three toes face forward and one longer claw, the hallux, faces backwards. When clutching prey, 
the outer front toe on each foot swivels to face backwards, like the hallux, granting a firmer grip around their prey. When an owl catches its quarry, it pushes the hallux through the creature's body. If that's not enough to kill it, the immense crushing power of their talons makes short work of the creature's skull. The owl then swallows the creature whole if it's not too big, otherwise ripping it apart using its beak and claws. The great horned owl, potentially the world's most dangerous owl, grips with a force of around 500 psi. That's equal to the bite of a German shepherd dog, five times stronger than that of a human hand. The front, middle talon of the great horned owl possesses an extra cutting edge to tear its prey asunder. In order to withstand their high-impact hunting, owl's feet have evolved to be bonier, shorter and stronger than most other birds. The underside of their feet are covered with a rough, knobbly surface to help grip and perch. Owls also possess a locking-like ratchet in their feet keeping the claws locked around their prey, making escape impossible. Other than hunting, owls use their talons to defend their nest becoming fiercely territorial during spring and summer, while they have young. When an intruder ventures too close, owls will dive bomb feet first, smashing into the creature with their claws, instinctively aiming for the head or face, regardless of the animal's size. People take them as totems, put them on their flags and embrace them as mascots for their favorite sporting teams. Few creatures are as charismatic as the tiger. And few creatures wield weapons as deadly as the tiger's claws. Tigers were once common across Asia from Turkey to the east coast of Russia, but thanks to human interference, are now only found from India to Southeast Asia and Southeastern Siberia. They are few in numbers and highly endangered. They're territorial creatures, usually solitary, but can also be quite social. Females tend to be accepting of other females, while male tigers are likely to be intolerant of other males in their territory. When territorial disputes flare up, they're often resolved through displays of intimidation rather than physical combat. The submissive tiger will yield by rolling on its back presenting its belly to the dominant male. After this, the dominant male will be more accepted as long as it stays out of its way. Sometimes, with the heavy damage a tiger's claw can inflict, these confrontations will end in death. Tigers are apex predators and master hunters with a taste for deer and bovids. They are mainly nocturnal, but have been observed hunting during the day and usually hunt alone. 
they stalk their prey, attempting to remain undetected. On a successful approach, the tiger will ambush the creature, overpowering it with its immense size and strength. In short bursts, tigers can travel at speeds of up to 35 miles per hour. They must be in close proximity for its ambush to succeed. If spotted too soon, the tiger will disengage from the hunt rather than chase it down or confront the animal head on. By using this method, a single tiger can take down water buffalo weighing over 2,200 pounds. Their limbs and claws are so powerful, attacks have been recorded where a single swipe is enough to break the skull of domestic cattle. This is possible due to a few reasons. The bones in the tiger's front legs are strong and dense, supporting the massive muscles attached to them. And the bones in their feet are connected by tight ligaments, buffering any impact. Tiger claws are retractable like any cat's. Ligaments hold them in a protective sheath, remaining retracted when not in use to ensure they remain sharp. Tiger's claws grow up to four inches in length. Each paw has four claws and a special claw located farther back on the front feet. This is the dew claw and functions much like a human thumb. The other claws being curved grants the tiger an incredible grasp permitting them to hold large prey and climb trees head first. Despite the curved claws making climbing up trees very easy, climbing down is a little more difficult. They must either crawl backwards or jump, making them the most inferior climbers of the cat family. The dew claw doesn't make contact with anything while walking, so over time, they become incredibly long and sharp. The perfect weapon to hold down prey. Tiger will also use their claws to mark their territory by scratching trees, ripping at them repeatedly, leaving deep marks on the trunk. Secretions from between the claws leave deposits easily smelled by other tigers as a warning as to whose territory it is. On land, the tiger is probably the most famous creature for the use of their incredible claws. But in the water, that belongs to the crab. Humans have always been fascinated with the crab. From naming constellations, pulsar and nebulas in the skies, to depicting them in the art of ancient cultures. Even coming to the aid of heroes like Hercules as he battled the Hydra. Crabs are found all over the world. They reside in oceans, bodies of fresh water, and on land. They are even found in volcanic vents, thousands of feet below the ocean surface and under the ice of Antarctica. Like lobsters and prawns, they are decapods with 10 limbs, eight of which are walking legs. 
Many crabs have flat bodies, allowing them to crawl into tight crevices. Generally, they're covered in a thick exoskeleton with two front limbs, armed with a pair of pincer-like claws called chelae. Each chelae have two fingers, one fixed and another movable called a dactyl. Usually, the right claw is bigger and blunt, used for crushing, while the left claw is smaller and sharp for cutting. The size of the muscle attached to the claw indicates how forceful its pinch is and the damage it will cause. But a crab's claws are not merely used for combative purposes. They also use them to communicate by drumming and waving, particularly when it's time to mate, a function not reliant on the power of its pinch. Fully aquatic species attract mates through the release of pheromones, while terrestrial and semi-terrestrial crabs implement visual, acoustic and vibratory cues. Female fiddlers have two small claws they use to eat microscopic food. But the male fiddler crab has one chelae larger than the other. So large, it constitutes half its body weight. When it's time to mate, he'll rhythmically wave his claw to attract the attention of females and threaten other males. The males of most crab species will battle each other for access to females. Some crabs are solitary, while other species live in groups, working together, providing food and protection for the family. But on the crowded rocky seashores, where competition for caves and crevices is fierce, crabs will fight over real estate. They're omnivores and eat pretty much anything, including algae, mollusks, worms, fungi, bacteria and detritus, even other crustaceans. This mix of food allows for the fastest growth and ultimate fitness. Some species require a more specialized diet, eating only plankton or shellfish. Some crabs will only eat fish. They have many predators, including seagulls, sea otters, octopi, fish and humans. But their claws are an effective defence, capable of inflicting substantial damage, like the chelae of the Australian mud crab. They are big, fast and strong, making them very dangerous. Crabs often lose claws in battle, but possess the nifty trick of growing new, fully functional replacements. Most crabs use their claws to fight, but there's one species that uses them to hide and disguise itself, even augmenting its own defense. The small boxer crab carries a pair of stinging anemones in its claws to fool predators. If the ruse fails, the predator has to deal with the painful, perhaps lethal stings of the anemones, along with the damage the crab's claws has inflicted. Many creatures have teeth and claws, including human beings. Unlike the teeth of the lion and crocodile, 
Owls are now too small and fragile to bite into anything tougher than an overcooked steak. Dentistry has allowed the flash of our teeth to be a pleasant greeting to others, the complete opposite of a baboon's threatening grin. We are reliant on the butcher for our meat. We even cut it up with a knife and fork before chewing it. Far less superior than a wolf's teeth, tearing and grinding down all the flesh and bone till there is nothing left. Our claws have evolved to be soft, used for nothing more than to scratch an inch. They are quite irrelevant to our survival, not like the bear, who depends on their ability to rip open logs or the intestines of an animal. The owl's talons not only grip the food they need, they kill it. The tiger relies on theirs being razor sharp to maintain his place at the top of the food chain. Male crabs not just communicate with their claws, they wave them about to find a mate. Human beings have adapted to becoming the dominant force on the planet. Where we have evolved intellectually, animals continue to evolve physically, granting them the powerful weaponry found in the animal armory.